Oh, orbs. I do so love the orbs. How do I collect orbs? RT? Yeah, that's right. They let me level up certain experiences. Oh, treasure. Silver keys! Yeah, I remember these. These things are terrible. These rare silver keys can be used to open magical lock chests found all over the world. Each chest requires a certain number of keys to open, so always be on the lookout. You never know what's inside. Pretty much whenever... The more keys, the more valuable. That's the long and short of it. Alright, moving right along. More beetles! So... Funny enough, green orbs basically mean you can put them wherever you want, I believe. Blue is specifically sword fighting, or melee weapons. Yellow is ranged. I don't know how you get the red ones. I know it's like physical attributes, like health and stamina and shit, but... Sweet! I just saw that. Yeah, I know. Thanks, thanks, Neko. Your great help, I guess. Money bag! Again, great. Anything back here? Nope. Cool, cool, ka -choo. And that is a random item. Alright then. Wait, treasure? Where? What treasure? Or not, alright. Epa tippa, I saw that. Yeah, a Ken. Boy. Stellar work, no Neko. You're a fantastic dog, you know that? <sighs> a rusty mace. Better than my rusty longsword. Well then I'll fucking use it, won't I? I received a heavy weapon. Yeah, it's not that much slower, actually. Like it totally works. See? I can also just take out my fucking crossbow and do that. It's equally effective. Well, my phone's ringing. I wonder why. <laughs> Outstanding fight! Yeah, it was. Boy, the... Cave of Wonders, or whatever the fuck it is. World around me. Alright. There's much more to find if you go off the beaten path. Try exploring the cavern. It's basically telling me there's some shit around here. That's, like, treasure. Which I think is right over here. Brendan's Diary. There appears to be a page from Explorer's Diary, according to the DL7 explanation to the cave. Third day, handshaking from exhaustion. I must remain vigilant. I almost nodded off last night as we camped around the fire, but still managed to keep an eye on Eric and Drake. I have seen the greedy glimmer in their eyes. They mean to make the treasure theirs. Perhaps it's time to use make use of the poison. Well. wonder how that worked out for him. I do believe this is also an area. Am I just going to find the notes here? Eric. The unposted letter written by a member of the expedition. Dearest Harriet, our voyage into the entrails of Bower Lake has taken turn for the worst. I only hope to survive and see daylight. You write about Brendan and Drake. They're selfish brutes conspiring behind my back, plotting my murder so they can keep the treasure for themselves. But fear not, I plan to poison their water supply while they sleep. Soon we'll sh we shall be rich. Feverishly yours, Eric. I think I see where this is headed. I also noticed they all took different sides of this sinking rock thing. This is where I came from, I think. So... Wait a minute, I guess Eric and Brendan died, clearly. Also, what the... Okay, the journal I get, but why was he writing a letter to his dearest Harriet? They were just gonna die. Not only were they just going to die, but you're in the fucking cave. It's not like they have a postage service down here. I'm trying to see if I missed one. I don't think I did. Uh, it must be up there, I guess. Whatever, we'll find that third letter. I'm, I'm sure 
we can figure out where that went. Though it does seem like a giant misunderstanding. Oh, look. Ha! Ah, suicide? What? On well, his tattered piece of paper, the last words of Drake Morton, explorer and treasure hunter. A man can only be pushed so far before he breaks. Five nights without sleep while those villains scheme behind my back, losing a foot to a giant beetle, that never-ending attack of hiccups. Well, it was all worth it before I found it. Yes, the treasure is mine. Who knows what great hero made use of this magical gem. All I know is that neither Brendan nor Eric will ever get their hands on it. I'm planning to poison them both tonight. Then I'm throwing the gem in the lake and poisoning myself too, just in case nobody makes a fool out of Drake Morton. Boy, howdy. He showed them. He showed them he did. That's why you never go treasure hunting with friends. Alright? You always do it by yourself. You can't... You just can't... <laughs> poisoning myself, just in case. Nobody makes a fool out of me. Nobody, I say! Would you just shoot him? Thank you. I just want my flintlock pistols. The rifles are too slow. Yeah, they do more damage, so give me my flintlocks. I don't think there were pistols or guns, anyways, in the first Fable game. <clears throat> just crossbows. Sweet. That was easy. These beetles are not what they're cracked up to be. Yeah, I know. Were you not here for my narration, lady? Poisoning myself, just in case. Birth of a hero. I see! No idea what they're doing up there, but they're dead now. Fun times. Fun times indeed. Isn't there a way? I think there's a way to dodge roll. Can't remember quite what it is. <gasps> We're here, I think. Whoops. Boy, what a trial that was. And... Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh, boy. We're gonna find more. I'm gonna murder this guy. I'm gonna murder this guy. I'm gonna murder them both and then kill myself. Notes. Because that was funny. I should have read the flavor text when I was younger. I'm missing out. It's like a new thing for me now. You get to experience me reading... Wait, why'd my... That might have been my stupid cable. My controller vibrated, but it does that thanks to the weird-ass cable. Treasure! And beetles! Is that the treasure? You found me a great service there? Oh, hey. I think that means I have enough to level up. What do we got? Hero of Oakvale. One of the main works book about in the Hero of Oakvale who defeated the dread Jack of Blades. Oh, the guy from the first game. Many conflicting reports regarding the hero's life and his feats. All accounts agree he wielded the legendary sword of eons against Jack and slew him twice. Once in his human form, once as a dragon. Yeah, that's about right. Among his many other accomplishments were his victory in the Witchwood Arena. Yeah, I remember that. The slaying of the White Balverine. I believe that was optional. And the freeing of... Prophets from Fireheart. I think that was the DLC. Though any records of his possible offspring would have been destroyed in this civilian attack on the Heroes Guild, it is believed the bloodline continued that one day a new hero will emerge to save Albion in its time of need. Well, that would be me then, wouldn't it? Excuse me, I'm getting a treasure chest. I'm trying to, at least. Who knows? There might be more treasure up there. That's why I have the spade, so I can dig holes and shit. Children's Health Potion. Tastes like cherries mixed with turpentine for your owie level injuries. I'll give you some supplies, good sir. 
Here's a fucking placebo health potion. Yeah, thanks a bunch. No, Neko and I really appreciate that. <sighs> Another children's health potion. Alrighty. So like I said, I think I can level up abilities. Alright, they're not letting me yet, but I definitely have enough to level up. Because that's why it says three. It's the number I can upgrade. <sighs> it's good to be back in Albion. I like the Fable games. They're fun. In my opinion. Beyond these broken doors lies the Heroes Guild. Well, where the fuck was I just there? I assume that was just more ruined Heroes Guild shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No man alive today remembers the night the guild burned. And now it lies forgotten. Doesn't really look the burned. Are not all gone. You are here. And that <laughs> same heroic blood flows through you. Uh-huh, right. I'm gonna be evil. Your forebear, one of the mightiest heroes who ever lived. At a young age he suffered a devastating loss, from which he never truly recovered. But when the world tried to crush him, he fought back. He grew strong, strong enough to reshape the world as he saw fit. You must do the same. The guild has reacted to you. Yep. Step into the light. Learn the true power. I'm gonna be so evil! But sort of a... Yeah! You can now channel the experience you have collected. Yep. Strength, skin, Pff, Eleven. Win. Jesus. Oh my god. Just let me kill things. Allows you to shoot faster and with greater accuracy. Will gives you control of the <sighs> Are we done? Before you is a colors gate. It reacts. Oh right, I need to get a spell. You have not been able to use Will yet. That's right. Magic's overpowered as shit in this game. I seem to remember that. Now use the knowledge you have gained so far to better yourself in strength, skill, and will. Alright. Shock, Inferno. Say how much damage it does. Well, Shock's just better all around, isn't it? Costs a little more, though, I suppose. Yeah, fire's covered entirely. I need to spend an additional hundred for Shock. Blades. Yeah, Blades was good. I remember Blades. 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 Vortex was kind of boring. Didn't like Chaos. Didn't like Force Push. Raised Dead was kind of eh. Yeah, I liked, Inf I liked Inferno, Shock, and Blades. So, I'm leaning towards Blades, as a matter of fact. And I cannot afford any more. Well, I mean, no, I can't. 